new, 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 new. All right, so since um, we didn't get a chance to um, uh, do a little bit of a recap uh, because of the, you know, the show thing, so I'm just gonna play a very short thing. Here's the, sh here's the things that were on last week, and then we're gonna roll right in. <laughs> So that's last week, and those are still available on adafruit.com slash new. Yes. So this week, new products. Uh, good news, bad news, everybody. Yeah. So we got these limited edition Arduinos, and uh, I have mine that I brought from home. Yes. Um, I, we had uh, only a few, and they're numbered individually. We didn't know which numbers we would get, and this thing is tiny. Um, the it's so cute. So this is the Uno Mini limited edition, and this is how small it is. So small. And uh, I'm going to show a couple quick photos of it. And uh, well, that's my what? Oh, that's that's, my that's the breakout. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but you know what? It was so small. It I know. It looks, looks the same like, as gold and black. Yeah. Sorry. So that's good. Sorry. Reminder. You're not going to accelerate them. You get only the Uno Mini. Yeah. But you do get. So a that's the signed. packaging. And like they, you know, they went above and beyond. Um, uh, missing from the list of the uh, folks there is Gianluca because they had a split a long time ago. Um, but they added Fabio, the new. CEO of Arduino. I think that was smart. It's got USB-C. USB-C. And then uh, I thought I'd do a little bit of a mini unboxing here. Okay. So this one's mine. This is in, and it's lucky number 13. You got to slide it. Right here. And uh, you can see, this is it. and this is going in my Arduino museum. Um, we have probably 100 boards in, of the past for Arduino. And oh, um, what, weird ones. What are you looking for? Well, I'm just doing this nice glossy. Uh, yeah. okay. And then this is the... Uh, and this is the, uh, this is mine, because this is 13. So um, I just grabbed this one out, and uh, the, the, the news is we had them. Yeah. And I had to buy them as a regular person. And uh, so we sold these just at cost, because I wanted to get these to folks out there. And um, we have lots of emails out to Arduino. We would love to resell these. We, these sold instantly. Um, call me, I'll bring them. Um, We'd like to, I mean, it seems like folks like these, or it might just just been the, the collector folks, like uh, kind of like me. Yes. Uh, who's like, oh, I should collect this because I have one of every Arduino, and I have an Arduino museum here at Adafruit. I'm glad we have one of each. So. Okay, next up. Okay, next up we've got, we actually found a bag of these, uh, speaking of point half, um, point oh one, point, point oh five inch pitch connectors, because that's the connectors on the Uno Mini. Um, this is a two by five, 0 0.05 inch pitch. So it's half the pitch that you're used to with headers. Um, we actually got a bag of these to use with our um, SMT um, uh, PMS 50031, I think the I squared C um, plug-in air quality sensor. And we surface mount the the connector on the reel, so we don't need these loose ones. But I figured, like, maybe somebody has some use from them, either to connect yeah. to air quality sensors or you have some other device. There, you know, sometimes these are called like JTAG connectors. Um, these are through hole, uh, as you can tell. But hey, hint, hint, you can turn them into surface mount by just bending the pins out. It's basically the same thing because they're nice flat pins. Okay. Uh, next up, Simon Monk has a new book, Programming the Pico Learn yeah. Coding and Electronics with the Raspberry Pi Pico. Here's some inside pages. And uh, Simon Monk is an Lots author. Lots of Thonny in there, MicroPython. We like, yeah. And, we like him. And uh, that's why we're stocking this book, support authors. And yes. um, the other thing is we have a parts pack that goes with it. That's right. It's a parts pack. And um, it's hard to tell from this image, but if you zoom in, the breadboard has actually special markings where the part number of the Pico, like the pin numbers for all the Pico pins, are labeled on the breadboard, which is like so genius. Um, mm. I didn't think of it, and um, it's so smart because then when you plug in the Pico, because it doesn't have pin markings, um, maybe on the bottom it does, but it doesn't have, yeah, I think on the bottom it That's does, fine. but not on the top. And so when you plug it onto the breadboard uh, and you line up pin one with pin one on the breadboard, like you line up at the edge, um, all the pins will be labeled on um, the breadboard for making easy uh, soldering and projects. And you get like servos and LEDs and piezos and buttons and all that good stuff. So um, a smorgasbord of components. All right. If you look for the next product, you won't find it, but maybe it'll find you. This is referred to as the Buddha Box. It is a uh, little tiny thing that's been around for a while. Uh, there's a big hacking community. It has Buddhist chants and more. It's very peaceful. Um, I've plugged in high quality headphones to it. I've 
plugged in crummy headphones to it. It has a, uh, a very simple interface. You just uh, turn it on. And it just repeats. And it starts repeating over and over and over again. You can plug it in if you want and things. And then uh, Johnny, who is one of our lead shippers, uh, took it for a spin. So check it out and more. Um, so zen. Yeah, I think I may have uh, not put the one with the audio in it. But you know what? That made it even more peaceful. Yeah, maybe. Okay, anyways, it's on our website. There's a YouTube video. Mm. Uh, you can check it out. Um, next up, star of the show besides you, Lady Ada, and our entire team, our community, and our customers is? This is a new accelerometer, the MSA 311. Um, this is the upgrade to the MSA 301, which is a, just a low cost, simple triple axis accelerometer. It's very small, um, it's easy to use. It's got like tap detection and, and you can measure tilt and motion with it. Um, it's a lovely all around good uh, triple axis accelerometer. And the most important thing about the MSA 311 is it's available to purchase. That's right, it's actually in stock and I could get some. So we made a breakout to it. The MSA 301 uh, has been discontinued. Um, the MSA 311 is like 99% identical for um, use cases, um, but the I squared C address has changed from 026 to 062. So your code isn't gonna be drop in compatible. You will have to recompile um, to use a slightly uh, different um, library update just to change that I squared C address. But like the range and the resolution is, is otherwise um, the same. And it, we put on a STEM IQT connector board so you can plug and play it with our boards. And of course we have Arduino and uh, CircuitPython code for this chip. Just use our MSA 301 library. New, 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 new.